So let's write the next function, which is the addition function. So here's the addition function, and notice it has the same syntax as the first function. And so what's really going to differentiate this function from this one is how we parse the arc parameters and what type of behavior this function has. And now because this function has the behavior of adding two numbers together, we need to, we need to extract two variables from Python. When we extract this parameter, we need to then add them together, print out a message, and return that value to Python. And now you do the same thing to create any other numbers of functions. When you're done creating your functions, you want to create a function table, a method definition, set of method definitions, and you need to then name them appropriately in the first column and give it a pointer to the function, actual function names like say hello and add function. And every single function is going to have this flag set. And you want to give, and you always want to give a description of what the function does. And at the end, you want to give the Sentinel marker to tell to tell the Python API that you are finished defining your set of function table. Finally, after creating your function table, you want to create an initialization function. This function is going to be called when you compile and build this module, and when also you insert this Python module to the Python interpreter, like by using the import statement. What this function is doing is creating an object reference to this Python module by initializing it, we get a reference to it. And also we're creating this Python exception object handler in this initialization function and we're naming it xmod.error and we're of course increasing the reference count because we own this reference and we're going to register it to the Python interpreter. And this is it for the actual module. Okay, so we've written our Python module. Now we need to write a Python script that's going to build this module. So create a new file and save this file in the same location as the module and we're going to call it setup.py now it's created next we'll import the modules that will be able to allow us to create our module then we create then we create our module by describing the name and the directory for, for which we can reference as a location to for Python to find any additional directories that we include as part of our module, any additional libraries that we use to create our module. For example, if you're writing an OpenGL application, you would put GL here. Likewise, you list all the source files that need to be compiled with the script. Next, you create a function called setup and you basically list out these options indicating the name, the version, description, author, your location, your website, and a module one option to allow you to build a module and save the file. Okay, so we created our extension module and we created our Python script to build this module. Uh, but real quick, let's correct a couple of errors. Our first error is going to be right here. We want to change this to, to extension modules multiple and save. Now the next error is going to be in our actual module where we want to come down here for our C 
function to change this to f, f, and f. This is because this is going to be a floating point number because it's a double or if it was a float, it's the same thing applies. And the next error is going to be to change this from a string to a py, Python object that we created, which is x mod error. And make sure you spell it right. And so the error should be fixed now. So now we're going to press Control Alt T to bring up terminal. A couple more corrections. A couple more corrections to make is to come over here and instead of having this underscore, we're going to remove it. By not having this function name like this, you won't be able to import your extension module. So that's one correction. The next one is to come over here and instead of having a space in between, it's going to just going to be no space between the two function between the two uh, formatting strings so let's go ahead and compile by saying python setup build and then next we're going to say python setup install to install the built module In my case, I'm going to need super user permission to go ahead and install this, so I'm just going to do so by saying sudo. And now it's installed. Now if we go ahead and run Python and say import extension module, it should run successfully. And now next, let's call one of our functions and say hello and we should expect a return value of 21 like we indicated in our application right here if it runs successfully so this is a test message We're not calling say hell, so we're going to say hello. And as you see, it was successfully called. Now let's test out our exception error handling capabilities by writing the expected error message. And this is to say this underscore is underscore and underscore error. And it should raise an exception using the message message that we had from our extension module so that matches next let's try out our addition function where i is equal to extension module add two numbers together 60.1.4 and 101.7 maybe and it did successfully add these two numbers together and it returns this value so our extension module works and that's going to do it for this tutorial like always please support this channel by subscribing and rating if you like this video thank you